greetings everybody. Joseph, Green Mountain Gold Trap, what is today the 8th? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, so today, yeah, I've got the three foot riverbed hog. We're not going to focus on that. What I want to show you is how the uh, little mini sluice is going to work out with the new slick plate on it. And I also want to show you Alan's best damn pan because it really works. It works really well. So I'm kind of anxious to try that down here. What I did try it on, and I mentioned this in another video, was um, straight black sand. Straight black sand. Or I'm going to mention it in another video, actually. I, uh, you know, you'll see it anyway, but I didn't show using it at home. I have some very, 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 very fine black sand. That's what I ran through it without seasoning the pan. I mean, it still has the oils on it from releasing it from the mold when it was built. Look at it, it still beads up. Still beading up. And it caught that really fine gold. So I'm really impressed with that. So I'll show you that today too. And yep, I've got Hung with me. <laughs> All right, folks, time to take a day off and get some gold, which is why I probably won't shoot too much video. Back in a bit. All right, y'all. Give you a look at this best damned gold pan. Damned because it's got a damn in it. How about that from Placer Tools. Al out in uh, Canada invented this. And you can switch this around if you flip it over. <clears throat> this way we've got about oh, an eighth of an inch underneath the dam clearance. And if you flip it over, there's uh, about a sixteenth or, or so. I'd say that's a little more than an eighth of an inch and then a little more than a sixteenth the other way. So if you flip it around, you'd be dealing with like black sands. If you're working like a lot of black sands. But for just running gravel, I wouldn't even use this. And so I'm gonna take that out. I have a pan of material classified down right here. So let's go ahead and get this camera set up and I'll run that material. This pan's pretty quick, so let's do this. All right, simple as taking the dam out. You don't need a lot, you know, you can work with pretty shallow water with this too. And start tipping it forward. Gently. Pan's really designed for really fine gold, but of course it catches the bigger gold too. I mean, if it's going to catch the small, it's going to catch it all, right?
like I said, I tested this at the house with some extremely fine, fine black sand. With the pan not even being seasoned, and obviously it's still not. And it, it, I don't know, there was a good, just in one pan, there was a good 25, 35, very, very, very tiny, tiny, probably like 300, 400 mesh. So it keeps it. Jeremy just found something good. <laughs> you got something to show everybody? to my pan so <laughs> I finished pan it in my own pan. that in the black sand. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but <laughs> there's probably about a 50 mesh right there and somewhere right here there's an extremely tiny, tiny speck that you're not going to be able to see, but pan works. I like it. It's kind of quick and it breaks everything right down and leaves you with very little to, to deal with. So, now, I have, in that black bucket over there, my concentrates from running the Green Mountain Gold Trap. So I'm going to go ahead and set up that uh, little cleanup sluice that I made with Dream Mat in it and run that material. We'll see what we get for the day. 
back it a bit. I'm not running it too steep. Everybody. So this is what I got for the day, and it was a you know I didn't I didn't dig too hard and heavy today, but it's one pretty decent chunky piece right there. And the uh, probably because I had it set up so steep that cleanup sluice did leave uh, lose three little pieces of gold, but that's what it caught. Well, that's what the gold trap caught, and then that caught it. So all right, y'all. I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I don't know how many more videos you'll see from Green Mountain Gold Trap this year. It's starting to get cold. This water's pretty cold. <laughs> and I keep looking at that deep hole going, it's right there. It's right there. I'd love to go in, but it's too damn cold. All right, catch you all later. We're out of here.